we will be taking a look at the standard international price of coffee and also a brief overview and analysis of the international coffee market. Coffee is a tropical plant belonging to the Rubiaceae family which mainly grows in equatorial regions with lots of rain and warm temperatures of over 21 degrees all year round. The coffee beans are the fruits of the coffee tree and are similar in color and shape to cherries. Coffee beans have come to be regarded as the most important agricultural commodity in global north-south trade. Although there are many different varieties of coffee plant, only two species are of major economic importance. These are Coffea arabica and Coffea robusta. Today, more than 60% of the world's coffee output is produced from arabica beans. The arabica bean is considerably more demanding than Coffea robusta. Coffea arabica originates from what is now Ethiopia, whereas the robusta bean comes from Indonesia and can be cultivated even at heights of between 200 and 600 meters. Besides these two main species, there are also other exclusive bean species such as Librica and Excelsa. The Arabica species is cultivated and processed primarily in Brazil and Colombia. Coffea Arabica is also produced in Costa Rica, Mexico, and Guatemala, however. The most important producers of Coffea Robusta are Africa and Asia. In 2005 around 28.2% of the world's harvest of green coffee beans came from Brazil making the country the world's largest coffee producer. In recent years world production has increased further from 90 million bags to 100 million bags. Coffea robusta accounts for around 40% of this. Coffee is regarded as the most important export commodity after crude oil, and is therefore of high economic importance for the coffee-producing countries. More than 100 million people earn their living from the production and processing of coffee and many countries in the third world depend entirely on the coffee trade. Because the market prices for coffee have fallen considerably in recent years, however, the proceeds from coffee sales are frequently no longer sufficient to cover the production costs, something which hits small farmers particularly hard. Coffee originates from the Ethiopian region of Kaffa, where it was discovered in the 9th century. Slave traders brought coffee to Arabia in the 14th century, from where the drink spread throughout the world through trade. The main trading venue for coffee was the town of Mocha. The first coffee house was opened in London in the 17th century and was known as Penny University because customers could purchase a cup of coffee for one penny. The English coffee houses led to the establishment of the London Stock Exchange, which developed from one of these original houses. As an export commodity, Coffee is normally transported in the form of green beans which are only roasted to form the familiar brown coffee beans once they reach their destination. The largest coffee roaster is located in Berlin. The demand for coffee is relatively constant, as a result of which the price for the black beans is influenced primarily by the weather conditions and the political situation in the producer countries. The most important trading venues for coffee are the London International Financial Futures Exchange, the New York Board of Trade, the Bolsa de Mercadorias and Futuros, and the Tokyo Grain Exchange. Global coffee market was valued at $465.9 billion in the year 2020 backed by an increase in the number of buyers demanding certified coffee products by the consumers. The market is mostly driven by Europe with higher per capita consumption and a move towards the culture of premium coffee. The Asian market is huge in volume, but substitute tea is more in demand. The cafe culture in European countries and an ever-increasing number of coffee shops across Northern America, Southern America, Asia and Oceania are escalating the global market. Furthermore, customers are becoming more aware of the quality and provenance of the coffee in their cup. All coffee affairs on the global scale is being handled by the International Coffee Organization. Despite the huge demand for coffee, the commodity is sold at a price that has nothing to do with farmers' living expenses. There have been recent arguments about how coffee should be priced. As at today, the average price of 1 kilogram of coffee is US$99.98. Although prices may vary across other markets due to many factors that could be beyond traders' control. In continuation of our series on coffee, we will be talking about the top coffee importing countries. However, as you have known, 
Consumption does not equate to importation as we have seen in previous videos that top importers of some commodities are not close to the highest importers of such commodities. So before we talk about the top importers of coffee, let's talk about the top consumers of the commodity. Finland is the highest consumer of coffee with an average consumption rate of 12 kg per capita. In Finland, coffee is typically consumed all day, every day, and coffee breaks are required by most workers' unions. Special occasions and post-church luncheons are celebrated with a coffee table comprising a buffet of cold sandwiches, slices of bread, cookies and cakes, and of course, endless coffee. Norway is the second highest consumer of coffee with an average consumption rate of 9.9 kg per capita. Like most European countries, coffee in Norway was first made popular among the wealthy in the early 18th century. In Norway, coffee is typically served black at breakfast, and with dessert after dinner. Norwegians also commonly invite people over specifically for coffee, served with cakes and pastries. 80% of the roughly 5 million Norwegian population of the nation drink coffee, many at a rate of 4 to 5 a day. Those in rural Norway take karsk which is a cocktail made with weekly brewed coffee, sugar and a hefty helping of moonshine. The third highest consumer of coffee in the world is Iceland. You will agree that there is a correlation between cold climates and a cup of coffee. Iceland consumes an average of 8.9 kilograms of coffee per capita. Denmark follows Iceland in coffee consumption ranking them fourth in global consumption of the commodity. The consumption rate of the commodity per capita is 8.69 kg. Like other Scandinavians, coffee in Denmark traditionally is served at each meal and becomes the central focus during special occasions, served with cookies, cakes, and small sandwiches. The fifth highest consumer of coffee is Netherlands. As a matter of fact, Netherlands was the first European nation to grow live coffee trees, brought back from Mocha, Yemen, by Pieter van den Berwijk. The average consumption rate of the commodity in Netherlands is 8.4 kg per capita. Now let's take a look at the top importing countries of coffee. From a continental perspective, Countries in Europe consumed the highest dollar worth of imported coffee during 2020 with purchases valued at $18.3 billion which makes up 59.1% of the global import total. In second place were North American importers responsible for 22.4% of global trade while 13.6% of imported coffee was delivered to buyers in Asia. The United States is responsible for 18.3% of total global coffee imports valued at $5.7 billion on average every year which makes them the highest importer of the commodity. The second highest importer of the commodity in Germany. Germany is responsible for 11.4% of global coffee import trade valued at $3.5 billion. France has a 9.3% stake in the global coffee import market which makes them the third highest importer of the commodity. France spends an average of $2.9 billion on coffee importation annually. Italy's $1.5 billion annual average importation makes them the fourth highest importer of the commodity. Italy is responsible for 4.8% of total global coffee importation trade. The fifth highest importer of coffee is Canada with an average of $1.21 billion spent on the importation of the commodity annually. Canada is responsible for 3.9% of total importation trade of the commodity. Top Coffee Exporting Countries Welcome back to another exciting episode. We previously talked about the top coffee importing countries. In this video, we will be talking about top coffee exporting countries. Before we delve into the topic which is the top coffee exporting countries, let's take a sneak look at the top coffee producing countries. Like we have said in previous videos where we talked about the top exporting countries, local production does not equate to exportation capacity. Here are some of the top coffee producing countries. As of 2019, the total production of the commodity was valued at 5.60 million metric tons. The biggest producer of the commodity is Brazil. The Latin American country has been the highest producing country for coffee for over 150 years with 27,000 square kilometers of land dedicated to its growth. 
Vietnam is another powerhouse when it comes to local coffee production. Colombia is a renowned name when it comes to coffee production which makes them the third largest producer of the commodity. Indonesia's location and climate have helped it become the fourth largest producer of coffee in the world. Total production, including Robusta and Arabica, was 10.7 million 60 kg bags between 2019 to 2020. Ethiopia is the fifth largest coffee producer in the world and the largest producer of the commodity in Africa between 2019 to 2020. Ethiopia exported a record amount of 7.3 million 60 kg bags of coffee. Now let's take a look at the top exporting countries of the commodity. The coffee export market was valued at $27.40 billion as of 2020 with Brazil dominating the market in terms of export turnover. Brazil is the largest exporter of the commodity. The Latin American nation is responsible for 14% of the global coffee exportation valued at over $3.84 billion. The global demand for coffee heavily contributed to the early phase of Brazil's modern economic expansion and industrialization. Brazil currently exports the majority of its coffee to the United States and Germany. The United States is the world's largest single buyer of coffee. The second highest exporter of coffee is Switzerland with 10.43% stake in the coffee export market valued at $2.86 billion. Germany follows Switzerland with $2.61 billion export value of the commodity claiming 9.54% of the export market share. We have Colombia as the fourth highest exporter of coffee with an export value of $2.36 billion. Colombia controls 8.6% of the coffee export market. The fifth highest exporter of the commodity is Vietnam with $1.74 billion in export earnings making them have 6.35% share of the coffee export market. Italy follows Vietnam by exporting 6.2% of the world's total coffee export valued at $1.70 billion. France is ranked the seventh highest exporter of the commodity with a market share of 4.22% valued at $1,16 billion. Honduras rakes in an average of $866.27 million annually from the export of the commodity which is equivalent to 3.19% of the total global exportation of the commodity. The Netherlands is ranked ninth in terms of the top coffee exporting country. The Dutch country exports 2.97% of total world exportation valued at $814.14 million. United States is the 10th highest exporter of the commodity with an annual net export of 2.87% valued at $786.46 million. If you're new to our channel Big Man Business, please subscribe for more agro business videos and you can also visit our website www.bigmanbusiness.com. Thank you. That will be all in this episode. See you in the next video.